Alright guys, this is going to be a tutorial video on picking disc detainer padlocks, which is these, with uh, simple tools that you can make yourself, which is these. Um, actually doing this for Watersea 2 um, from UK Locksport. He's got a couple of these locks and I've made him a set of these here to try out because it's two in one broke and he's never really got the, uh, the chance to play with them. So I figured if I'm going to do a video for him, may as well do it for everyone. Um, first and foremost, if you're not familiar with the mechanism, um, you've never picked one of these before, never had one, I would strongly suggest looking up the uh, the animations on YouTube, which show how they work. Um, I do have a couple of videos that have done on these before with the two in one, so you might want to check those out because I'm not going to be breaking down the mechanism and explaining, you know, the whole thing in detail again because I've already done it. Uh, so, yeah, if you uh, haven't picked one of these before, I actually would recommend getting one of the two in ones, which is uh, these things here, because you can get them for about a tenner. And uh, whereas these are very easy to use, they are a bit fidgety, and it wouldn't kill you to have a bit of a, a feel for the lock in general. And that's my phone. Um, Alright, where was I? Fuck it, we'll get started, I think, so I don't want this taking all night. Uh, Rich, the uh, the lock that you have, uh, the one that I've sent you, is pretty much identical to that. Um, let's see what I sell. The key for your lock, which I neglected to send you, is this one here. As you can see, there's only three cuts on it, and uh, they're all towards the tip of the key. So your lock is driven by the front disc 100% on that, uh, which is why I sent it to you, because I knew you'd be able to do it. Uh, the key for this one here, there's a cut right here, that front cut, and this is actually rear drive, so I'm not going to be demonstrating on this. Uh, well, I might pick it anyway later on, but let's see, I need to get the wire. Basically, your, uh, yeah, we'll use that one. <clears throat> Probably should have thought this through before I started the video, but anyway. You've got two tools, one is your tension wrench, um, this here is made from wiper blade insert, um, well, the extra thick ones, so you can see that compared to the keyway, and the other one is your pick, now the pick is, uh, it's cut exactly so that it just about fits into the keyway, and the wrench is cut so that it hooks in to the very front disc and no more. You can see that there. Now your first step is to zero the discs, which I'm sure you know, but I have to point it out. So you want to put the long end of your wrench in, turn the discs as far as they'll go. A little bit of a wiggle, just to make sure. Now, before we continue, um, you'll notice there's two drain holes in the bottom of the lock. One of which you can actually see the shackle. For some reason, that denies all logic and reason, and don't ask me why this is, but for some reason you cannot pick it whenever that long part of the shackle is up top. You do not get any feedback, and it's just fucking horrible. So before you put your wrench in, you want to double check and make sure that the uh, the silver bit is shown on the bottom, and then you want to nip your wrench in so it hooks into the front disc like that. Then getting the pick in. You'll notice the uh, the handle here points the same direction as the pick, so you want to sort of put it in like this, and just kind of corkscrew it around the wrench, so it's facing out to the right like that, and then into the bottom of the lock. Now it will spin freely in the lock. Uh, the rear disc is back a little bit from this, and the videos that I've done before, there's a trick for getting onto that. So what you want to do with this is have it poking up the way a little bit. When you pull it towards yourself, you'll feel it sort of stick against the rear disc. So, very, very gently, just rotate it until it pops back, which you might have seen there. So as you rotate, pulling back, it will then free up as it clears that disc. So, you do that very, very slowly, you get onto the rear disc and feel it, and that's you. Now I'm using like a medium amount of tension on this. So as I come back, you will then begin to uh, the feel the discs set. I 
and that's pretty much it. Now, it's a bit more complicated than that. It's not like uh, with a pin tumbler lock, a binding pin will feel stiff. It's kind of the other way around with these. The, um, the discs that are already set at the zero position, they won't really have any give to them. Whereas the, uh, the discs that aren't set will have like a teeny tiny wee bit to them. If you just turn them back until you feel that big click, that's pretty much all you have to do. So, silver bit at the bottom, wrench goes in the top. I wasn't actually... What the fuck? Oh, it's open. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I forgot that I picked it there. Alright, so we're going to lock that back up. Shit. Okay, so that's it locked. Um, obviously turning it like this, it's not going anywhere. Let's try it again. So, silver bit at the bottom, wrench goes in the top. I'm, I'm going to hold this quite close to the, uh, the camera so maybe you can hear the clicks as I'm moving back here. There's two. There's three. And four. And then it just popped out a little bit. I'm not sure if that's it or not. If at any point you get lost or you're a little bit stuck, you can either re zero the discs and start again, or you can use light tension and just kind of wiggle your way through the keyway like that. Um, sometimes that will, uh, if there's any discs out of place, it'll just kind of jiggle them into place. Um, demonstrate with uh, this one here which is a shutter type lock and you can see there's only a few cuts on that a year lock the one that I have sent you this is for rich by the way not for everybody else in the world who's watching this um, as you can see you want to come down your rear disc will be here please focus hold on I think I might be able to Nice, I love this camera. So, your rear disc is like this. This is a very, very gentle kind of thing you're doing. Sort of medium tension, like I said, not too light, because if it's too light, then you know the ones that are already set will actually just pop straight out of the gate. So, you want enough to hold the discs that are set from popping out of the gate, but not so much that the ones that aren't set aren't going to move into the gate if that makes sense. It's something that you're just going to have to get the feel for in time. But as you can see, you get a little bit of movement there, you move back and you'll feel a bit and it'll just click, move back, click, move back, click and that'll actually be your lock open. Um, for ones like this, where there's a zero cut in between them, you just kind of have to move past it and you will develop a feel for this over time. There's this one, this one's an arm tech as well. And hopefully you'll be able to hear. Well, there's one's actually gone. There's two. And obviously because I'm trying to do this on camera, it's not wanting to go, so we'll just re-zero the discs. You have to be patient on these. There's one, there's two, three, and you'll feel a wee bit of giving the wrench. And there she goes. And then you can pop the shackle. And we've got this one here. Same idea. With the uh, the shutter locks, you don't have the uh, the drain hole thing, so it's pretty much hit and miss. But as long as you have it with us, uh, the bottom will lock to the bottom, it's okay. Same idea with this one. See the uh, silver bit in the drain hole to the bottom. Zero the discs. Um, if you're really, really struggling, you can use really light tension and just sort of come back and, you know, very gently tickle the discs. And the ones that are set shouldn't move if you're being gentle. There's one, two three, fuck. The wrench has actually popped out there. Is that open? No. Right, there's a disc that's not set, so... There it is. Boom. 
I just open. And I just dropped a fucking wrench, and I don't know where it went. No, it's not opposite pick actually. Oh fuck! Fantastic. Right, the uh, the only way that I can really explain is um, if you imagine. Uh, I don't know. It's like your discs are like this, and you're sort of coming back, and you'll feel it, like. If it's in there and you have a very slight left hand pressure on it, it'll kind of stroke over the discs. And the ones that are already set, they're not going to go. And the ones that are, like, fuck me, the ones that aren't set, the ones that are out of the gate, they'll have like this tiny, tiny little sort of eh-ness to them. I, I don't know, you can't really explain it. But you will feel it and you just kind of go like this and then, and then you just move on. If it feels a bit meh, just leave it, move on. That one might feel a bit, you know, a bit of movement. Click, happy days. Um, you know, that's that's really the best I can explain it. Now, like I say, they were all front uh, front drive. This particular one here is rear drive, meaning that uh, under tension, the front disc is actually overset, so to speak. Um, you need to drive it from another disc. Um, in order to do this, you need to switch tension from the front disc to the rear disc while you move the, the front disc back a little bit. With the two in one, no problem. With these, not so much. You see, same again. Silver bit to the bottom. Wrench goes in the top. The wrench goes in the top. <laughs> Fuck's sake. And nip that in. I think this, uh, I cover this in the uh, the troubleshooting from the other two part video from before I could uh, record for more than 10 minutes. Now, at the minute, I know all the discs are set. I've moved from the back to the front very, very carefully. Everything feels as if it's set, but it's not going. Uh, there's two, two ways that you can do this. You can get on the rear disc, um, put pressure on it, hold this in with your finger and turn it back a little bit until you feel it click. Or you can use trial and error and you can nudge the front disc back just a tiny amount and then try the back disc to see if it turns, which it has. And there you go. Um, a lot harder than it looks. Uh, with the 2-in-1 you have your, uh, your tension on like this and you can just go onto the back disc Apply pressure like that, turn that back, it goes click and then it goes around, it's a lot easier. But uh, for the lock that you have, at least the one that I sent you, you shouldn't have any problems with it. Uh, so hopefully that helps um, for anybody else who's wanting to take a crack at these if they don't want to shell out the princely sum of uh, 10 or 20 quid, however much these are, then uh, you can have a wee go at these. Basically you just got to bend, uh, bend an L shape stick it in the keyway and uh, file it down or grind it down until it's grabbing onto just the front disc and then again bend yourself a little handle onto some coat hanger or whatever wire you have available bend an L shape in it, I would bend it to about sort of that much and then try and jam it in the keyway if it doesn't go file it, file it, file it until you know it pops in quite freely so there you go hopefully that helps somebody um, Rich, if you're still having trouble after this, um, I might suggest setting fire to them. Um, but besides that, you just gotta practice, mate. So, gonna go and have some dinner and a lovely cup of tea. Um, I'll catch you later.